Okay, so what's what's next? We're gonna try direction. and find the meld. So the orange beam appeared, and it's definitely over in this area, but I don't, I can't see over there, and I'm not willing to really venture over. I want to try and keep these guys alive, because, uh, you know... You don't want their non-canonical names shitting up the wall of memorials. <laughs> exactly. Well, that and, uh, if they all kill at least one or two, then they should theoretically gain a promotion or be close enough to getting a promotion. Okay, so... That makes sense. Okay, so we're gonna need to speed this up a little bit here. So I'm gonna split off actually and have this guy run over here against my better judgment. Uh, don't, you don't, don't feel like you have to compromise your strat. Like I said, you know, I can, you know, I can edit. Oh, yeah, I want to make sure I can find the meld. Oh, here it is. Oh, oh the meld, okay. I'm, there it is. If, if that runs out, then I kind of handicap myself. Right, okay. Now, like, how much meld do you get from capturing one of those canisters? One canister is 10 meld. I think it might bump up to 15 later. Okay. Now, what, what'll t what does 10 meld get you? Uh, 10 meld gets you, like, standard, small modifications. I think it's 30 for a mechanical. And, like, we'll talk more about that when... Okay. Because when we arrives. unlock the uh, cybernetics lab. But sure. the genetic modifications, like, you can give them, like, sturdier bone structure. And that's something like 20 meld. Or you can give them, like, uh... Oh, crap. You can give them um, enhanced optics, and the more complex slash beneficial the operation, the more meld it costs. Okay. And when you do a lot of research, you can get like um, a secondary cardiovas, a secondary nervous system and cardiovascular system. That's so you can like so your soldier will never die when they're out. They'll just. Uh, there we go. So they won't just die if, if they get downed. Okay. Nice. Okay. So the other benefit of playing aggressively is that if you complete a mission, if you eliminate all hostiles before you collect all the meld canisters, if there are any melt canisters still active, you automatically mm -hmm. collect those. Okay. That's good. So, I'm going to try and move this guy up here. I don't think there are that many contacts in this first level. Nice. Okay. I think that was everybody. I th well, I thought that was everybody. All right. And we've collected all the meld. Oh, there we go. That was everybody. Kill three aliens. No operatives lost or even hurt, and two canisters recovered. Awesome. That's oh, right. Australia is considered Asia for funding, part of Asia for funding purposes, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our... I, I like this character, except I can't... That sweater... Makes it hard to take him seriously. I know. It's a very, like, like it's a weird look. We have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. I guess, I don't know, I, I, I'm being shallow, I suppose. But... <laughs> no, I, I like him, but I don't like his design. I agree with you. Okay. Cool character, cool character though, yeah. I mean, fashion aside. Alright, so everybody got a promotion. So we have one heavy... Rocket launcher in tow. There are 
demolitions experts. We have uh, support. The support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. The and assault the trooper. Our front line. They're the first ones into a fight and the last ones out. Our and a sniper. Alright. Are any of the uh, any of the skills changed compared to the uh, base game? The skills? Uh, yeah, there are a few different skills. I can't remember what the differences are without reading them. Okay. But the base skill, the base uh, benefits are all the same. So we'll go over them when we get them. All right. So first things first for this playthrough we're going to uh, be changing around some names yeah we're not gonna go with the vanilla names obviously and um <clears throat> you know what flag, all right do you know what flag that is I, I I am not I am not I am not trying I'm not going to try to match up names to national origins I don't okay <laughs> I'm not that dedicated okay okay everybody we've been uh, away we've been away for a few minutes just getting some of the busy work of getting everyone uh, named so now let's see. We've got uh, so we've got uh, here uh, got our support trooper Ken Masters, uh, Ryu McRyusen, our heavy trooper. It it's not my fault he has no canonical last name. Okay. <laughs> uh yeah, Shao Kahn, our assault trooper. <laughs> fittingly, fittingly so. Heihachi. Sniper Heihachi Mishima, taking time off from running the Zaibatsu, and then our rookies who don't have uh. Time will only tell if they're given appropriate uh, jobs or not, but... Well, they they will. I don't... The biggest way to uh, ruin yourself is to just build a small, a small squad. Yeah, you don't want to... Yeah, you don't want to be super built around one. And yeah. then, you know, end up having your guts torn out when you lose them and you have nothing to fall back on. So that's 12. Right. We'll uh, probably be hiring some in the future. Uh... Let's see. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval... I really like the supporting cast in this game. Yeah. This like guy, they all Dr. Have... Vanton, Sweater Vest Man. <laughs> they all have distinct characterization. Yeah, um, yeah they're, so they're, they're all pretty here. cool. I mean, Dr. Vanton's nagging about not blowing things up aside. So, uh, yeah, in the engineering we can build things. Uh, we'll get more items as we unlock them. We can also build a few vehicles, uh, satellites... Satellites, satellites are absolutely vital to expanding your income, your influence, and this uh, alien search network. Yeah, and yeah, and just all, and just you know, holding back the tide of aliens so that your funding uh, nations don't start pulling out of the project. Yeah. So this is how how they handle the building facilities in XCOM Enemy Unknown. Yeah, it's um, it's. And and with it, it's, yeah, it's not like the original where you built multiple bases. You only have the one. Yeah. And you have multi You build downwards. Yes. So we have two hundred forty right now. We're okay on power. Um, oh, and, and I noticed we have a we do have a, a conveniently nearby steam vent that could be useful. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to build steam, an access. That, lift that lets you build first. a. Yeah. Steam vents let you build geothermal power plants, which are really quite productive. So it looks like right now I lack any the facilities to build anything except a power generator. So I'm just Which we go don't really need at the build. moment. Oh, are we gonna? Are you gonna build? Do we? Do we have any need for more power at the moment? Uh, yeah, I can't build another uplink without more power. Oh, okay. well, I'm an idiot. Okay, good. So I'm gonna just All build right. a power generator. All right. Okay. Let's go visit the research lab. Here's Doctor Benton. Or is it Valen? Valen. Volan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. 
based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. We have a few different uh, projects here. Okay, now I noticed some um, weld, rec weld recombination, meld recombination, that is of course not in the original base XCOM Enemy Unknown game, but that's a new research for Enemy Within. The invaders appear to have deployed canisters of this strange substance in human populated areas, perhaps as an experiment. It might also be a weapon of some kind. Further analysis could shed light on its potential dangers and applications. What, so, what are you gonna... uh, yeah, I can, you do you want to read them all? Yeah, yeah. The alien appears to be, aliens appear to be using materials that are lighter and stronger than anything we've ever seen. A cursory examination has already given us ideas for ways to improve the soldier's current body armor, but more research is required. Which one are you going to research first? Uh, I don't know. Right now, they all cost about every... Everyone costs about everything we have. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to research them all at some point. Yeah. Well, let's see. Xenobiology. Let, I'll read the description. Let's see the other descriptions. All right. Xenobiology. Project cost. Three sectoid corpses. It is crucial that... It is crucial that we gain a thorough understanding of the alien physiology in order to develop weapons and tactics better suited to combating them. And then the last one, weapon fragments. Cost, five weapon fragments. These fragments are all that remain of the powerful alien weaponry we've encountered so far. Further study could lead to advances in our own weapons development programs. So they all have their advantages. Um... And they're all going to take about eight days, no matter what. Right, and the research time depends on how many scientists we have. Uh, you can also you also get um, research credits for interrogations. Oh, that's right. Yes. If, uh, yeah, if you take enemies alive. Yeah, if you take enemy al aliens alive, that will then give you uh, each en alien type will give you like a bonus towards specific types of research, right? So for right now, I think we're going to go with xenobiology. Isn't it implied that the interrogation consists of like her like elect like ri just like ripping the thoughts out of their brains with some sort of horrible electromagnetic device? Uh, she says pretty much that exactly. There's no way to communicate with them directly. Oh yeah, that's right. So here's Okay, our... now that yeah. Here's the command room. Yeah. To the base. I'm going to go ahead and scan. Yeah, now time passes. And this is like ha this is one half of XCOM sort of is the base is like the base. Yeah. The other half, of course, is the tactical combat. Oh, something's happening. Oh, nothing. Is that the this power? is just the power generator. All right. All right. And unfortunately, even though we ha now have the power to build a satellite, we cannot. We don't have the personnel, so we're gonna have to scan a little bit more. All right. Yeah. You need to build. You need oh, request from France satellite rewards. So. Here's oh, wait, do we, have, do we have any satellites to spare, un unlaunched satellites at the start? Refresh my memory. Oh, here we are. So we yeah. do actually have satellites, so we can launch a satellite. Or okay. France is, is willing to pay us $200 for theirs. Do we just... Uh, are they asking for the money, like, for us to put the, our next satellite over them, or do they just want us to give them a satellite? They want us to give them a satellite. So every satellite costs $100, and they're willing to pay us twice that. Uh, we can transfer it to them, or we can launch one. Now the thing is, wherever we launch, or uh, if we launch a satellite, we have to launch it in Asia. We, because, wait, we do? Well, because we don't have um, any uh, fighter jets in any other country. Oh, okay. And so if we launch a satellite in another country that has no. Um, oh, okay, yeah, ships, then we don't have. We... Then it can get. That's right. Them. That's right. Okay, yeah. I'm. So, that's okay. So right now it's like a short-term, long-term thing. Um, if we launch a satellite, we would have to launch it in China, India, or Australia. Oh, that's that. Okay, yeah. And you see, as you see, you get um, you get additional personnel every month, engineers and scientists. And it, what you get depends on where you got your guys deployed. Now, it, it I I find it's handy to have get, to focus on getting more engineers early on. Because the more engineers you have, the more satellites you can support. North America has a, a more balance. They give you scientists and engineers, but less of both. Right. right. Uh, yeah, South America is two countries. 
Argentina and Brazil. Okay. And each co- each country also has a different uh, monetary value per month. Yeah. But I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. They tend to be in relation to that uh, country's they're, size. I mean, they're like roughly like they're in the vague area of their real world economy size. 